Oshomele has admitted Buari was a failure, no longer the hero. Aisha Yusifu. Exactly. That is what they do. Why in the office everything you do is perfect? But immediately you step out. They don't begin the insulting. They don't, they be, they don't begin the rom romance another leader. That is how you will understand people who can never do anything. These people, they are not trustworthy people. They are all a bunch of failures. Today, Buari na failure. Uh, today, Tinubu is the best. Even to the extent that Oshomole is now saying nobody should blame Tinubu for Nigerian economic hardship. And they should blame uh, Mohamed Buhari. You've, you have even forgotten the policies. The anti-people's policies made by this government that is affecting today. You are not even talking about that. Now see Buhari now in big dozens. You see, at today, Nigerians are saying Buhari is better than Tinubu. Buari eight years is better than Tinubu eight months. This is what Nigerians are saying. Now they talk, you go better, you go better. When? Me, I talk him. For the very first day, hardship started in Nigeria. Something that was not written in your inaugural uh, speech. Because other presidential candidates said, first subsidy is going to be removed. Then, oh, you just think it's something that you just say and... You, you kick it like that, it, it just keeps starting. Oh, first subsidy is gone without any implementation on ground. This is how you know people who are not serious, who does not know what they are doing. That is the truth. If you like, uh, I, don't, I don't just want to say that word, that way that is trying to come out from my mouth. Surprisingly today, all those who supported President Bola Metinubu, who said Tunubu or nobody, they are the one lamenting currently. They are the one lamenting. Until we, we, we push this tribalism and religion, Nigeria can never move forward. Not because, but that is the truth. We, we, we have refused to, you know, uh, put those competent leaders to lead us. Maybe because of where they are coming from. You don't like where they are coming from. Maybe because of their religion. Or they not get money. For that reason, they cannot be there. And we keep on making these mistakes and we are suffering it. It is good. Everybody is eating from this hot soup. Yes, it is good. 2023, so many people spoke. People talk. Abuse is everywhere. Fight everywhere. And that. Now, at all, nine minutes in, President Muhammad Buhari was uh, president of Nigeria for eight years. All the Jewish positions in, uh, in, in Nigeria were given to the Northerners. But you know what? Now, they suffer pass. Now they are the hungry big pass. Now they bandits keep us. So you see, life is not like that. If we are saying one Nigeria, we have to come together with one mind and choose a leader. I mean, competent leader. Nigeria is a big country. Nigeria is a rich country. But today, President Muhammad Buhari government is telling us that uh, Nigeria is a very, very poor country. The very not put on one. So he put on like three times. Very, very. That means... In fact, Nigeria is a wretched country. This is the same country African countries are looking up to. We are the richest African country in the whole African continent. But we have bad leaders. We have leaders without vision. Who don't care about the country. Who has finished the country. They just care about themselves and their generations to come. To the extent that their 20 generations to come will never suffer. That is the kind of leaders we have. They will tell poor masses, endure, endure. Don't worry, sacrifice. What are the sacrifices they are making? The House of Assembly members, how much is their salary? They are telling Nigerians to endure. These are the same people who said they cannot pay, min pay minimum wage for 100,000. At ah, this current situation in this country, that oneself don't reach what they take their children, they, they buy airtime. You understand? But you cannot pay civil servants. When they loot millions of dollars, when they package them, they tie and they put for your bedroom and all that. And you think God is not watching you. Look at the way they are. They are just, they are just, it's a shame. It's a shame. They are disgracing themselves. That is the truth. Which they talk yesterday, today, now they don't they change their mouth. I shall you see if 
is a social commentator. And she has said a Donald Senator Hadam Soshomole has admitted that the former president, Muhammad Buhari, was a failure. You see, if we said Oshomole has given Nigerians the permission to criticize Buhari. She was reacting to remarks by Oshomole that Nigerians are suffering due to the bad economic policies of Buhari. He said President Bola Tinubu can't be held responsible for the sufferings Nigerians are going through. Posting on X, Aisha Yusuf wrote, Adam Soshomole has now agreed that Buhari was a failure and has given citizens permission to criticize him. Just yesterday, Buhari was their hero. They defended him and we are always in Daura. Today, they blame him. Their new hero is the Lagos man. Just wait for the legally gotten power to be over and then their mouth will open. Sacrifice. All it took was for Buhari to leave the office and loyalty has shifted to the illegal occupant. Please pardon me, illegal occupant. Adam Soshomole has now given you all permission to criticize Buhari. That is what they do. That is what they do. Oshomole has become a man without character. Force, deceit, lie, corny, words in his mouth. Now, Buhari, don't turn to bad head now. Tinubu is now the best. The same people who said uh, uh, Buhari is the best president. Today, they don't they change much. This is who they are. They can never change from who they are. Tomorrow, Tinubu leaves office. Now, see the same them go use their mouth talk, say, you don't know anything. God keep all of us alive. When I go see here, part two. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.